A stunning discovery in Greenland has unearthed a relic of Cold War history, hidden for more than 50 years beneath the ice. In April, NASA researchers were conducting an aerial survey of Greenland's ice sheet when their radar picked up something unusual, turquoise dots amid the icy expanse. These dots turned out to be remnants of Camp Century, a Cold War military project. The discovery took the scientific community by storm, adding new context to Earth's history with climate change. The ice sheet in northwest Greenland disappeared 400,000 years ago and was replaced by Arctic tundra. And that is a fairly radical thing because it implies at least a meter and a half of sea level rise 400,000 years ago. Built by the U.S. Army in 1959, Camp Century was no ordinary military base. It was part research station, part nuclear-powered operation, hidden within a two-mile network of tunnels carved deep into the Arctic ice. Officially, the base was designed to study Arctic construction techniques, but its real purpose was far more ambitious and secretive, an operation known as Project Iceworm. Under the project, the U.S. planned to house and potentially launch nuclear missiles from Greenland, targeting the Soviet Union at the height of the Cold War tensions. The base featured facilities like a hospital, a church, and even a cinema for its 200 personnel, and it was also equipped with a nuclear reactor. However, the project faced insurmountable challenges over time. Greenland's shifting ice made the tunnels unstable, and in 1967, Camp Century was abandoned. While the nuclear reactor was removed, not everything was. Left behind were 200,000 liters of diesel fuel, 24 million liters of biological waste, and 1.2 million units of radioactive waste. At the time, it was assumed that these materials would remain entombed in ice forever. But with the melting of Greenland's ice sheet, this toxic legacy may resurface. Scientists warned that the waste could seep into the surrounding environment, contaminating aquatic ecosystems and potentially reaching the sea. Alex Gardner, a cryospheric scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, says, it is impossible to know how the ice sheets will respond to rapidly warming oceans and atmosphere, greatly limiting our ability to project rates of sea level rise. NASA says further research is critical, not just to monitor the site, but to better understand how melting ice sheets will shape our planet in the years to come. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more of our stories, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit san.com.